the way I make videos on my channel is changing. I'm kind of tired of doing the same thing over and over again. And so from now, this is how I'm going to be doing my reviews. Coming up next. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. When it comes to app reviews, everybody is talking about specs and display and screen and all that. Mostly the aspects that you can get on other sites and I find it quite a bit boring and That's not the kind of person I am. I'm a very entertaining person Somebody who likes to do a lot of research and somebody who likes to find Flaws with devices not for just finding flaws sake But because devices are expensive and most people will probably change their phones once every five years once every two years Once every three years. Let me know in the comments below how often you change your phones and so I believe that people would more appreciate the fact that if there's something wrong with a phone, they would want me to tell them than what everybody else is saying, which is good about the phone, right? So I've kind of developed a scientific rating or way of reviewing phones, right? So that it's not just like, you know, bashing or criticizing phones, but I want it to be very scientific. I want it to be reproducible by anybody who attempts the same thing. So what I'm doing is I'm having a rating system for every video. We are going to start with 10 points. And once we start with 10 points, the first thing we are going to look at is the price of the phone or the price of the device. How much does this phone cost? Does it cost like a thousand dollars? If it does, what value are you getting for a thousand dollars? Does it cost $200? If it does, what value are you getting at that $200? And also we are going to compare with other devices within the same price bracket and see if anybody offers any better value than this particular device that would we'll be reviewing, right? So for every video, I'm going to be making like the first intro, first impressions video, do my camera reviews and all those gaming reviews and stuff like that. But the video you want to watch is the video which has a thumbnail of the fucking knife on the device or by the side of the device so which tells you that it's about to go down we're going to find out all the issues with the phone so i'm going to give you examples of certain issues which i'm going to use to subtract points so like i said every device is going to start with 10 points and then for every major issue that we find on the device or that people complain about a lot on that particular device we are going to subtract one point so the more points we subtract the more issues that phone has and so it's also good for brands like if you're a brand and you're watching this you are say, ah, if I give my device to this guy he's just going to trash it no I'm not going to trash it I'm going to find out what are the flaws at that particular price point right because if the camera is bad and the device costs a hundred dollars then it's not really a bad thing but if the device costs two thousand dollars and the cameras are all poor then that's a major issue so let's look at some of the quick issues that we are going to be looking at and i would also need your suggestions to include some of the things that you think i should consider as major issues when i'm deducting points so for example if a phone costs a thousand dollars or even 500 to a thousand dollars but doesn't come with a charger included in the box then that's definitely one point drop if a phone has overheating issues, I'm definitely going to be telling you about it. Any phone that comes with over 40 apps or more installed, right? Bloatware, that's what I'm talking about. That phone is definitely going to have one drop taken off the 10 points. I hope you are getting the drift. So if a phone doesn't have an ultra wide angle camera, but it's very expensive, that's an area of concern. If it doesn't have optical image stabilization and it's very expensive, that is another area of concern. No expandable storage, another area of concern. Small battery, another area of concern. Overheating, exploding batteries, bloatware, poor software experience, such as lags and freezing and phone rebooting and locking people out. I'm definitely going to tell you all about it. If you're a brand and you are watching this, you should be excited because if you make a genuinely good phone, it's going to have 10 points, 9 points, 8 points, 7 points. And so every phone which has 7 to 10 points at the end of my critical review, it's an excellent phone that I would not hesitate to recommend for you to go and buy. So if you're a brand and you get a seven to 10 points, then you know you are one of the five star top tier phones that you have made at that particular price point. If the phone gets from six to four points, yeah, then it means it's okay, but it has some issues that you really need to consider if you are going to make a purchasing decision for that particular phone or device. 
if the phone has three to zero points then this phone has a lot of issues and you should probably consider looking an looking at an alternative within that price bracket if the phone has negative points my brother my sister run all right so let me know in the comments which other factors we should consider when reviewing critically these phones if you're a brand and you're watching this send me your devices if you have confidence that you have built a good device and let's go thanks baby for watching this if you're new to my channel i do mobile phone reviews mobile app reviews and i bring to you affordable gadget reviews to help you make an informed decision when you're making your next purchase so if you like that kind of content please click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications